Hello. Today in this video I'm going to be explaining why I personally am not happy with Warringah Council being split in two. Today, this morning on the radio, I heard that Mike Baird had decided to go forth with certain council amalgamation uh, plans that uh, were being discussed. Uh, and one of those plans uh, is to cut Warringah in two, give the northern half to Pitwater and the southern half to Manly. This really isn't the best idea, um, and I th this this is just unsatisfactory for so many people. I I went onto the Northern Beaches Sydney website, which is a website specifically created by Warringah residents to to outline what amalgamation options would be the best, and uh, they wrote down some a list of problems which would occur due to a split of Warringah and giving one half to Pitwater and one half to Manly Council. Here's some. So the problems that would occur with a split Warringah would be increased costs of delivering services per capita. Uh, the whole idea is against the New South Wales original government preferred model and scale of the council amalgamations. There is a risk of 179 million Australian dollars um, being... Uh, used in additional costs over the next 10 years across both the councils. Um, weaker regional level planning and coordination than one Northern Beaches Council, so infrastructure wouldn't be uh, at a satisfactory standard. If we were part of one Northern Beaches Council, so that would be Manly, Warringah and Pitwater, all, uh, you know, three as one, it would achieve a unified Northern Beaches and better community services on a whole. The councils would, could save up to $200 million over 10 years and improve with um, financial sustainability. It would probably unlock $15 million in state government in infrastructure funding, so, you know, more good buildings, which is very good. It would reduce inefficiency, bureaucracy and debt, which is, you know, very good for uh, an area. It would allow for better planning and regional coordination. One of the disadvantages is the um, perceived loss of identity. They wrote down that if we were one council, we wouldn't have uh, as much local identity. But I don't think that because we all live and we all love the northern beaches, whether you're an artist at Avalon, whether you live on a property at Duffy's Forest, whether you enjoy a, a, a harbour lifestyle around Manly. Wherever you reside, you are proud of your northern beaches and you want to be able to experience every part of it without feeling like you are an intruder just because you reside in a different council. Which brings me to my final issue, which is just one that annoys me ever so slightly. Our family beach is a long reef beach. There's a lovely image of it up there. You might be able to see it. And we've been members in the past and we feel so lucky to be able to drive quickly down to the beach for a walk or for a swim or whatever. I don't know what council Long Reef will be part of, whether it will be part, part of the new Manly Council, the new Pitwater Council, but if, if uh, us as a family have to pay to park at our local beach, which is, you know, really close, which we've been going to for decades, it would, it would just infuriate me that we have to pay to park at our local beach, which we've been going to for many, many years. And in saying this, there are several other close-by beaches which we thoroughly enjoy going to as well. And we'd be very disappointed if we'd have to if we have to pay to park there as well. It's just a minor issue I'm a bit cross about. But splitting Moringa really does defeat the purpose of a unified Moringa and a unified area which we can all enjoy. One last issue which I thought I might add is that... Um, it's very, uh, I personally find it very, found it very strange how Manly, which is a tiny little council only consisting of a few suburbs, hasn't been touched or really affected at all, apart from the fact that they're going to receive uh, more than half of Warringah Council. And um, but they, they haven't really been touched or affected at all by this decision. But what makes it even more weird is that Mike Baird has his seat in Manly. He's the member for Manly. And I find it very interesting that Mike Baird has decided, so you, Mike Baird, I'm talking to you now, you've decided to divide 
a beautiful Warringah council because you are afraid of perhaps getting voted out of your seat? I, I don't know. But um, I think that's well and truly the case. So how dare you, Mr. Baird? It's unfathomable that you have devilishly manoeuvred your way right down the middle of Warringah Council just so you can keep your jolly old position. So the notes I've talked about earlier in this video about what are, you know, the bad points of having a split Warringah are a few things for you, Mike Baird, to consider next time before you're um, thinking of going on a rampage and destroying small communities like Warringah. Well, thank you for watching, viewers and of course, the Honourable Mike Baird. If you'd like, leave a comment about what you think about council amalgamation in the uh, comment box below. And say Warringah, say Warringah. It is our council, which we all love so much, and I think it's wrong how Mike Baird is deciding on completely axing it. So, I love Warringah. In fact, I will sing a patriotic Warringah song. Warringah, oh Warringah. Land of beaches and headlands, land of lagoons and land of forest, we love Warringah.